Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you are here with me today. On today's episode, what am I talking about? Well, I am sharing with you another five minute minimalist makeup routine. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. If you are new here on this channel, I mainly speak to the quality of fashion, looking at the quality of our clothes and our style, as well as building our own personal confidence. However, I do like to sprinkle in a few beauty care uh, videos in there as well, just because I do think it is a big part of our style and as well as our personal confidence. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely click that subscribe button. So the makeup routine that I'm actually sharing here with you guys today, you can actually get done in five minutes uh, if you kind of keep at a good pace. But for today's sake, because I'm going to kind of be taking my time and uh, to, to show what I'm doing and as well as that kind of talking with you guys, it's definitely gonna take longer than five minutes. So don't use this sort of time uh, pace as what, what it'll actually be. With today's routine, I am using no tools, just all, all about the fingertips today. For today's video, I am featuring a new brand called Merit. Merit is a minimalist beauty brand that still prioritizes luxury ingredients. What I love about their collection is it's basically really hyper-focused on just the essentials, but really making each of those essentials just on a whole nother level. Just really prioritizing the details of each of these products. You know I love me some less but better. So this brand completely encompasses that. And I have to say, um, this is my first time trying them. They actually reached out to me and gifted me these products. So you just never really know what you're gonna get, but I'm so excited because I actually think a few of their products have replaced uh, some of my favorites, some of my previous favorites. So I'll definitely share those with you. Um, but yeah, as well as that, I'm gonna incorporate all the other sort of stuff that I use as well, my other go-tos. So I will include my affiliate link down below. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these items here today, it does help me out if you make your purchases through that link. As well as that, with your first purchase, you will get this cute little uh, makeup bag, which I think it's a bold statement, but this might be my f most favorite makeup bag I've ever had in my life. It's this like, it's super ingenious. Like it's just a tie, it's like a fabric tie and it just opens like that. But what I love is how wide it opens. So it's just super, makes it super accessible um, for you to grab all your goodies. Uh, before we get started, I just wanna mention that I am using natural lighting here today. So the lighting might fluctuate a little bit, but I do just love using the natural lighting when I do my makeup videos because I feel like it's just more natural uh, versus my studio lighting, which can make even the worst skin look immaculate. As well as that, I think it's important to mention that I am not a makeup expert. I am just a makeup enthusiast. And because I'm doing this channel, I think a lot of people are curious on how I'm doing my makeup because they're seeing my face a lot, you know? So I get it. Um, so that is why I'm sharing, you know, my make different makeup routines with you guys. And just kind of like, you know, a couple of girlfriends sharing their tips and tricks, you know? Just gal pals, just galling it up, gal chatting it up. Kind of like what you would do back in the day and like on slumber parties, you'd show each other how you do your makeup, you know? I've learned a lot from slumber parties. I, even things that I still do to this day from slumber parties. <laughs> All right, so with that, well, let's get started. So I've already prepped my skin. Um, I've changed my, my skincare routine again uh, because I've been breaking out really bad lately, like really bad. Normally it's just like I break out, you know, certain times of the month, you know? It could be one of two things, that I stopped using toner probably that, or that I changed to this. I changed, I quit using toner and started using Goop's um, Super Screen Daily Moisturizer at the same time. So I can't really figure out which one it is. Could be, could be both, could be both. 
Um, but I'm going to do some trial and error here. So I'm eliminating this. I'm pretty much out of this now. So I'm eliminating this because I think it's just too heavy for my skin. My skin's pretty sensitive. And I've gone back to one of my trusty ones, um, Glow Recipes, uh, Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Love this. And it's good for my skin because I've got super sensitive Sally skin. So, um, so yeah, I start, wash my skin and then I do the plum prep. So this is a uh, kind of plumping serum. So I use that and then, so that goes on first and then I use my moisturizer. And then I've gone to the Burr Minerals Primetime uh, BB Primer Cream um, as my sunscreen and my primer. So that's where I'm at now. So we'll see how my skin does. <sighs> Probably have to go, gonna go back to toner. I just hate having this super long skincare regimen. Um, I try to like keep it at a minimum of three products, but probably gonna have to happen. Okay, so with that, my skin's all prepped. The first thing we're gonna use is the Merit Perfecting Complexion Stick. I got this in color silk. So what's cool about this, this stick is that it can actually be used as a concealer and it can be used as a foundation, which is great. You know, I love some dual purpose. When I'm doing my daily makeup routine, I usually just use concealer um, because I actually don't like a lot of foundation on my face. So there we go. Okay, so like I said, we're not gonna use any tools here today. So I'm just gonna rub it in with my fingertips. It's kind of a different texture than what I'm used to. Usually it's like, usually it's super liquidy or it's super kind of springy. Uh, whereas this has definitely got a sort of a cakey feel. And so when I first put it on my skin, I was a little bit worried cause I'm like, ooh, is this gonna look really cakey and not blend nice? But it's crazy how seamlessly it blends into the skin. So yeah, I just use concealer in like my little parts and I just spread it out. Okay, so that is kind of where we're at now. I'm gonna just finish off with a little bit on the eyes. Don't want too much on the eyes, but just whatever's left on my fingertips, I'll just get on there. And yeah, so I'll just make sure it's kind of all smooth out. Yeah, so loving that. Yeah, loving that finish. What again I like about this is it's, again, got really good coverage but you don't feel like, you don't feel that heaviness on your skin. That's another one of my biggest pet peeves with foundation or concealers is when you feel, feel it on your skin, when it's just like suffocating your skin, that's the worst, worst feeling. So then I'm actually gonna use the same thing, the Perfecting Complexion Stick, but in Tiger Eye. So this is a, a darker shade. Um, I'm gonna use this for kind of my contouring. Real simple. A little goes a long way. I'll just kind of start off like that and then just rub it in with the fingers. Yeah, not bad. Sorry, that's so bright on this side, you can't really see. Okay, and then whatever I kind of have left, I just sort of blend back in like that. And then I'm just gonna use a tiny bit up here. Okay, yeah. And then my other little trick that I've learned from Alexandra is the nose contour. Make it a little more, ooh, looks a bit silly. I have to say I'm liking using this complexion stick. It just has such nice control. So I don't really like to use color on my cheeks. Uh, I like to keep it very minimal again. So I'm just going to simply put on some highlighting. So this is Marit's um, Bounce Highlighting Balm. Bold statement here, but I think this might be my new favorite highlighter. I have gone back and forth between liking highlighting sticks and highlighting powders but I've never actually used a highlighting balm and I'm basically obsessed with it now because I hate when highlighters get a little too raver-esque, you know, looking like I'm off to a rave um, where you can kind of see the streak of the highlighter. 
Whereas this to me kind of seamlessly blends into the skin. I'm just gonna do a little swirls. I feel like a good, good amount on there and just, yeah, a little rubbing. All right. And I'm definitely breaking out of my side, so I'm trying to avoid that situation. Loving that. So then I just take the last little bits and put it on the nose like that. And then I just will touch there, a little touch there. And then actually, because I'm keeping this super, again, minimal and I just want it super straightforward, easy, I'm gonna just put a tiny bit on my eyelids as well. Because I just like that bright eyes look. Uh, I do have this amazing uh, cheek color, um, and I got it in raspberry beret, but I don't know if I'm gonna use this today, cause I just, uh, we'll see, we'll wait to the end, but I kind of am liking the very, you know, seamless canvas, seamless canvas right now, and I think I'll get my color from the lip gloss, so we'll just see. With that, let's do the eyes. So next I'm gonna just add a little bit of eyeliner into my upper waterline of my eyelid. And I'm gonna use the Ilia Clean Line Gel Liner. Um, this is in color Twilight. This is my current favorite. Goes on super smooth, super smooth, but does not move. So it's just like magical. Magical ingredient <laughs> for eyeliners. Goes on smooth, but doesn't move. Like, yes please. Doesn't run which is key. I absolutely hate that when you have the eyeliner that runs. I just like to put a little bit of eyeliner in my waterline to kind of close the eye up a little bit because I've got pretty big eyes. And like I've said before, I feel like I look like a deer caught in headlights if I don't close the eye up a little bit with the eyeliner. Just kind of gives it a little bit more of that like smoldery look. And that's pretty much that. Um, sometimes I'll add a tiny bit to the corner of the waterline on the bottom. that um, and if I want even more of a bold eye I will add a tiny bit of eyeliner on the top part of the lid just a little bit though not much it gives a little bit more of a strong line to the base of the eyelashes yeah there we go Easy peasy. So next is my eyebrows. Can't forget the eyebrows. As you can see, my eyebrows are weak. Weak, yes. Uh, Overplucked 90s eyebrows. Again, thank you, Rachel and Monica from Friends. So this is the vol the so this is the volumizing pomade from Merit for the eyebrows. I love to have pomade for the fact of just kind of to lift the eyebrows a bit, but girl cannot only have pomade. I'm I'm minimalist, but unfortunately this girl can't be that minimalist because I can't leave these little little baby caterpillars. I need I need the mama cal caterpillars, you know. What I love about this one is the brush is amazing. So it gives a really even coverage. It doesn't give too much because a lot of the ones that I've gotten in the past just it almost puts too much onto the eyebrow. All right, next thing to my eyebrows is my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Been using this for years. It's just got a really nice tiny little tip there, real tiny. So you get good precision. But what I like to do is basically just use this as my guide line for the base line of my eyebrows. So all I'm doing is really filling in where my eyebrow naturally already is. I massacred my eyebrows when I was young, my goodness. Okay, so that's it. So those are at a good point now. So I'm gonna move on to my brow pen. This has changed my world. Um, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, this has completely upped my eyebrow game. So I love that full and fluffy sort of eyebrow look. 
and this has allowed me to have that without having to get my eyebrows microbladed. The next best thing is the Anastasia uh, brow pen, and this is in medium brown. Uh, I have used Glossier's Brow Flick in the past, and I do really like that one as well. However, that one I don't feel like has as even of an application, and as well as that, I feel like it runs out super quick. Whereas the Anastasia has a really nice, pretty consistent application. I mean, obviously you're gonna have a little inconsistency because it's like a gel, gel pen basically. So what I mainly use this for is bringing in that fluff um, towards the middle. And this just takes a little bit of practice. Like I think anybody can do it, see that? And it kind of just gives that natural brow hairs. I'm just gonna go back in and I add to the top. But again, I wanna just do little sh light strokes that look like my natural hair to again, give that natural appearance. All right, that's brows, feeling strong. What we have here is the Merit Lengthening Mascara. I can't believe what I'm about to say, but I actually think this might be my new favorite mascara. I know. If you saw my previous few makeup episodes, I've said that Ilya's mascara is my favorite all-time mascara that I've ever tried. <sighs> Merit might be giving it a run for its money. I don't know. I feel there's so many good things about the Ilya one, so maybe maybe it's a maybe it's a tie or a close second. What I love about Merit's is the brush is like this super fluffy brush. So nothing real fancy about it. So when I first got it, I was like a little bit like disappointed a little bit. I was like, wow, that's a little lack, lackluster. Because when you see Ilya's tit, um, mascara brush, it's like all fancy. It's got like long bristles on one side and short on the other. But the application of this, again, is super light and airy. So it gives you that volume and that length and so it doesn't weigh the eyelashes down, which in turn makes it look really natural. So let's just, let's just try it. Let me just show you instead of just talking about it. Okay. So it just gives such a natural finish. It's buildable. Uh, to give even more uh, and doesn't get super cakey and spider leggy and doesn't weigh the eyelashes down because that's my biggest issue is I've got I've got nice long eyelashes um, but they're very straight so I have to curl them and if I have too heavy of a mascara it weighs down that curl all right there we go all right so almost finished I uh, just gotta do the last little bit, and that is the lip oil. I've become really obsessed with lip oils lately, um, ever since I tried Ilya's lip oil. Uh, so this is Merit's Tinted Lip Oil, and this is in color Au Natural. Natural, natural. Au, au, au natural. What I love about this is it's just really grabby, if that makes sense. Some of the lip oil gets a little too oily and gives that really natural appearance. And as it absorbs into your lips, it just gives a really plumpy, full effect. So I actually prefer it as it absorbs and kind of fades a bit. I don't actually like it as much when it's first applied. But look how it just, it just absorbs into your skin. I like how it goes into your skin versus sits on top of your skin. There we go, folks. That is my five minute minimalist makeup routine featuring Merit. Wow, lots of M's in there. But I kind of, I'm kind of curious to test out the, uh, the uh, cheek color. So should we just try it out even though, so this is kind of my go-to look I would say, but let's just try out the cheek color just to see. It's a really 
really like deep raspberry color um, that I wouldn't normally go for, but that's kind of why, why I wanted to try it because it's not something I normally go for. So I don't know how it's gonna look with the lip color, so we'll just have to see here. So just gonna put it on right up here. Again, it's such a lovely application, just really balmy and just seamlessly blends into the skin. Look at that. What do we think, you guys? Color? No color. What do we think? I'm actually gonna wipe off this lip gloss so that we can try the cheek color on my lips as well. How that lip oil like nourishes this, this, the lips. The skin. I'm gonna add it to this side as well. Let's add it to the lips. This is what I'm gonna have to, just a really nice matte finish. So kind of loving that now. So there we go. Yeah, so another, another little alternative look. Two options there. Um, and that, what I've shared with you guys today is the full range of Merit. So that is all of the products that they offer. Like I said, I will make sure to link everything that I've shared here with you today. Uh, a lot of it is going to be affiliate links. So it does help me out when you make your purchases through that. All right, so if you did enjoy today's episode, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes. And if you are already subscribed, click that little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes. All right, you guys, I hope that you have a beautiful, lovely, fabulous rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.